Hi students, welcome back. Today we will see how to uh, use the TCL commands. The TCL commands are nothing but transaction control commands. So these transaction control commands are used to manage changes made by the DML commands. So the different TCL commands are commit, rollback and save point. Now let us see what is the use of the commit statement, rollback, rollback statement and the save point statement. So first let me explain about the commit. So before that I need to show you, uh, I already created one table that is a select. Uh, let me show you the table, select star from customers. So I created a table customers and, and I inserted the values. Now let me apply the commit command on this table. So the commit it is a transactional command used to save changes invoked by a transaction to the database. So just it's saving the changes whatever you have done and it saves all transactions to the database since the last commit or rollback command. So since the last commit and the rollback command this will be uh, the save sort uh, whatever the uh, modifications you are done on the table that will be saved. So let me uh, let me do one modification in this table. I want to delete one row here. Delete from customers uh, where let me take where age is equal to let's take 28. Age is equal to 28. So one row was deleted now. Now I want to commit the uh, table means I want to use a commit command. It's just simple you have to write commit. A commit command is used to save the changes whatever you have done uh, to the table. Okay, it is commit was completed. Now what I want to do, I want to delete one more row. So when whenever you commit the table was saved. So let me show you the table whatever the uh, select star from customers. Okay, so the row was deleted. The, the ID four whose age was twenty eight that uh, uh, row was deleted. Now it was uh, the table holds only three rows. Now I want to delete one more row. Okay, so delete from customers where age is equal to. Uh, let me take the age is thirty two rows are deleted means the age 30 hold two people okay so the Bhanu and Lucky both are having the age 30 so two rows are deleted so now let me uh, select the select star from customers so the two rows are deleted now the uh, the table holds only one row with ID 3 now I want to use the command roll back rollback completed now let us observe what this rollback uh, command uh, perform the operation on the queries select star from customers so rollback is doing the operation it's just undoing whatever the modification that you are done on the uh, table. So actually here whenever I use the delete command. So here the delete command what it's doing it, it delete first uh, starting I deleted one row. So whenever I perform commit. Okay. So once you commit means it saves a program. Once it saves a program even though if you apply the rollback it won't be uh, undo. Okay, but here in the second, uh, once I, I deleted the two rows here, delete from customers where age is equal to 30. So the two rows are deleted. So before committing that, I just perform rollback option. So I just enter the rollback. Whenever the rollback was completed, whatever the modifications that are done before the commit statement, only before the commit statement. So the before the commit uh, only two rows are deleted means after the commit statement only two rows are deleted. So those two rows, uh, rows will be rolled back not the first one that is the uh, first row which where age is 28 that was not rolled back because after deleting I committed. So once you committed you are not supposed to roll back that. 
so after committing whatever the modifications i done so those data will be roll back so this is a use of roll back and the commit statement thank you